Hello everyone and welcome back to the Let's Learn series. This episode we're doing something a little different. When learning anything, it's crucially important to practice the concepts and skills you're working with. It's highly unlikely that you will be a pro hacker by simply watching a video. I like teaching, but I'm not that good. In order to get better and more efficient, you have to dedicate time to learning the craft. That's why this episode of Let's Learn, I'll be showing you places where you can practice what you've learned about the Linux command line. Let's jump in. I think one of the best resources for practicing what I've learned is overthewire.org. The website offers a ton of war games, which are ways you can practice hacking and other skills. On the front of the site, you can find the recommended order you play the games in. Bandit is a great place to start. It's similar to a CTF, Capture the Flag, in which you retrieve a password to get to the next level. You'll be using a ton of commands we learned about in the previous videos. I highly recommend you go through and take notes as you're playing through these games. I previously had played Bandit, but went through it a second time taking notes, and I learned way more the second time through while taking my notes. I've also recently come across another website called Command Challenge, which offers similar challenges to Bandit. I'll also include a link to this in the description. If you enjoy challenges like that of Over the Wire, you might also want to look into more CTFs. Pico CTF specifically is a great introduction to CTFs, and you'll find they have some Linux command line based challenges. As you progress in this game, the challenges get harder, but the victories get sweeter. This is a good time to mention that these are meant to challenge you and you are encouraged to learn from them. It's going to get frustrating because you may not know how to accomplish the task right away. That's just the nature of the beast that is hacking. You will always be learning and always be running into things that challenge you. But that's what makes cybersecurity so interesting. You can always reach out when you need help or if you get stuck. We have a great community of people in the ITCQ Discord that is full of people eager to help. You can find some other great resources for motivation on YouTube. Most of them you might be familiar with. Zach from IT Career Question, his channel hosts a ton of videos that can keep you motivated. Dwayne Lightfoot, the creator of Lab Every Day, Network Chuck, or IT Career Skills. All of these channels are a great source of inspiration, so check them out. And that wraps up this week's episode of Let's Learn. I hope you enjoyed this episode and found some new places to practice. If you don't follow me on Twitter, you're missing out on getting updates for the series. Last week I announced I'll be taking these videos down to one video every other week until I can catch up with life. Follow me on Twitter at Girl to get these updates in the future. Thanks for watching, and until next time, I'll see you next video.